Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. I'm dying to know. <laughs> you are? I am. I don't know what to say. I like your pussy cat. Uh, my kitty. Your little pussy. My little kitty cat. My husband doesn't like this shirt. Why doesn't your husband like that shirt? Because it's too in your face. It's like, ah! And I walked around the corner and I said, do I look all right to be on camera? And he went, oh! <laughs> Like I'm taking that's a yes. Take it as a yes. Okay, there you go. Oh, Woo. glamour isn't my thing, but glamour that's okay. Isn't my thing. Okay. Whoa. We should. Oh, my watch is buzzing. Why? Wow. Who's that? Who's, who's buzzing? Who's let's buzzing? let's put them on camera. It's who's... name and shame. Name and shame. It's who's talking like to you? Lisa's on. Are they your new glasses? No, they're no, your old glasses. No, my new glasses have had to go back because I didn't put them in. You've got properly. a bifocal issue. <laughs> your bifocalness is too high, and she can't see anything. <coughs> oh, look at that. Who is it? It's Andy. Oh, hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. Happy oh, Easter, then... my gorgeous lady. Oh, because we're filming this at Easter. Yes, we are. Hi, Andy. Thanks for Hi. that. Hi. Hi, Andy. What are you going to say? And say hello to yeah. the viewers. Uh, we were just talking about you. We were just talking about him, but that video is probably oh, yeah. going to be on by the time Hi, this one. Sure. Hi, Andy. This could take a while. I, I'm not very good at writing. Hi. I'm going to ask the question while is she does that. Dad? So today we're going to be answering a question from Heather. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. So you just focus on what you're doing. And thanks, Heather, for sending your question in. Heather's obviously just watched the video on the mortuary table that I will point to here. So Tracy did a bit of an explanation a while back now on um, the mortuary table and how it can be moved for different processes and procedures and, and stuff like that and explained the elements of the table that she uses. Um, and Heather wants to know where does all the blood drain into and what happens with it after that? And so that's referring to when Tracy is doing an embalm and the uh, embalming fluid goes in and the blood is pushed out I just touched my microphone. The blood is pushed out um, of the body and comes out of the body. And where does it go? So thanks for that question, Heather. Have you finished yet? No. Nah. Uh, I'll sing you a little song. So, <laughs> no, I won't. Um, she, can you? Bye, Send. Andy. See you, Andy. See you, Andy. Okay. You'll probably get this and you're reading it now and you'll be going, ha, ha, ha. But there you go. You've, which I've told him. We're recording. Could you answer Heather's question, please, now? Absolutely. Thank you. So, nice of you to join us. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Hi, Heather. Did you hear the question? Where no. does the blood go? When you do an embalm and the blood's there, where does it go? Yeah, I did hear the question. She did. I did. Okay. I was actually really listening. Um, it, um, so, do you want me to tell a little process of what happens? Yeah, a little Should process. Yeah. And then, and We've got lots of videos happens. on embalming, but yeah, a little process. Yeah, we do. So, embalming is... Um, we are putting the cannula into the carotid artery so we can inject embalming fluid into the body. And what we're doing there is then pushing the blood out through the jugular. So the jugular's got a little opening in it too, as well as the, um, the carotid artery. So you've got your carotid in your veins, in your neck, and they're right next to each other. And one, we've got the fluid going in, and one, we've got fluid coming out. So we need to drain the blood. And because blood decomposes very fast and this is what starts to decompose the whole body and we need to preserve that body so we need to get that blood out and you know before where you've got the colours of staining on the body that's the blood that we need to try and get rid of that so it gets, settles in the yeah, tissue doesn't so it so it's basically lividity that we're trying to move around and get rid of uh, so we've got drainage happen out of the jugular vein so we've got a lot of blood which is coming out through uh, over the shoulder and down the uh, mortuary table and the table set at an angle and it's got a drain around the outside it does it has drains down so the blood is going straight down straight down each side of the table and it's going down to a drain that we have and it goes straight into the sewage so it's not a savoury thing that we really want to know or talk about. No. But poo goes there too, so that's not very savoury. So, yeah, so, so you're probably going to get, uh, we get probably people going, that's terrible, it should be not be allowed. But it's allowed, of course it's allowed, because like you say, we have blood that gets washed down there, we have periods. 
um, you know, feces, urine, food waste gets put down drains. Dead goldfish. Yeah, dead fish. Um, animals dies in creeks and goes into your yeah. sewage. So, so, yeah. So it, is, it is allowed. And what goes, else would you do with it? Yeah, so it goes into the sewage, which will go to the treatment plants, which will get treated just like any other sewage that goes through there. So um, uh, as we're draining, we also um, put, put water onto the table every now and then i'll put water to make sure I get rid of all of that fluid and um, blood down into the drainage area it's a sealed drainage area so it's all clean in the mortuary you can't you know see or smell anything like that it's all sealed so nothing's exposed out there apart from me up here but i'm in my full ppe gear so I'm not exposed to any of that uh, fluid neither, which is fluid, which is a dangerous fluid, which you have to protect yourself from. So it just goes into the areas where uh, your toilet waste goes because basically toilets, blood and feces and all of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, there's nothing, um, you know, special or we have special containers or anything like that, but that's where waste goes. I would goes. think that some beliefs might have a, um, a thought process around the blood being a life force and, and you know, a, a something that needs to be preserved or sacred or, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what they are. Yeah. If you know of anything like that, let us know. Yeah. Um, but um, basically from a, um, a technical um, workflow practice perspective that's mm -hmm. what you do yeah yeah that's basically what it does and it's all you know it's, it's cleaned it's sealed like I say it's not we don't just it's not just going on the floors it's not going into buckets or anything like that it's all buckets. A, it's yeah buckets of blood buckets yeah it's all a sealed drainage area mm. so it's all sealed so it's a good question so, yeah. because it's something yeah. we don't talk about often because it's an icky thing people yeah, don't like icky. the fact that that happens yeah yeah and they don't then it's like you know like I say it's like do we think about where our toilet waste goes, you know? And when you flush that I've loo? got a toilet waste story for you. Have you? Mm. Is it so, yours? No, when we recently went to a trail run in another country. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, they had port loos As you do in there. events. Yeah, and they have lots of port loos And often the organisers of events are slammed because they don't have enough port loos because every runner known to man needs the toilet before they go on their big event we run. We do, when we're always queuing. And um, this place had plenty and plenty of port -a-loos, Yeah. But to my surprise, now, in Australia, people will know what this is. And I don't know if you actually have them in other places. Do you I have long drop toilets out in the forest in other countries? Because we do. And basically what it is, is a little hut built on top, usually up a set of stairs. So it's raised on top of a tank, which is buried down into the ground deep. And so basically when you go, you open the lid of the toilet and through the little hole at the bottom of the toilet where you normally would flush, it just drops through. And down the bottom is a reservoir. And I think they put chemicals and stuff in there, but it's sealed so animals can't get in and like there's no rats and stuff in there or whatever there might be, but I don't know. Anyway, that's what happens at national parks sometimes in Australia when you're away from a sewage system yes. um, and they have these long drop toilets, right? So I digress because I'm explaining to you that the porta potties at this event where we went and they're those little plastic little units that drive in on a truck and they leave them yep. there in a big line and everyone goes and the doors go bang, 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 bang yep. as you walk in and out. We're long drops. Oh, So you walk in like normally... Normally here, wherever yeah. we've been to those temporary toilets yeah. at running events, they have a little flap at the bottom of the toilet and you do your business, and your it, wee or whatever, and then you press the button and the flap goes like this and it goes away and disappears into a tank somewhere well, else with chemical, chemical comes, comes down. down yeah. And you pump the thing and it goes like that and yeah. goes like that and it goes away and you don't see it. Well, at these ones you saw everybody's everything. There was a hole like this. Oh, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I remember it to be a hole like this. And, oh, honestly, <laughs> it was just, like, when you got to go, you got to go, but it was not. And the one thing I hate. is poo. It's poo. It was, like, I hate poo. And it wasn't only poo that you saw, which is the worst part of it. Oh, oh. Just use your imagination there. So, yeah, there's my little toilet story. Nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. You glad I shared you that one?
Yeah, I can smell it. I can actually smell it. Yeah, I, t- I tend not to go out in them toilets in the bush when you go out bush walking. I tend to use... They don't worry me. Oh, I don't like them. I don't like them either because I, I always think like a snake's going to come up. Yeah, I think, of, in you know, from England and from the UK and from England, we watch too much, you know, Australian stuff in the red back spy. Just sit under the toilet seat when you lift it underneath and now you're I'm always yeah, afraid the, a red back will come and bite you. But it's like when we go running here, like in in suburbia, and you have to sometimes go to public toilets, which I never did before I was a runner. They were like, oh, I don't use public toilets. But now (laughs) you have to, to, and so you do. And, you know, there's some public toilets here that every time I go in, I expect to see someone dead in there. I don't know why. I just have it in my head. Someone's going to be hanging from the rafters or someone's going to be dead passed out from a drug overdose in the corner. And it probably does happen. I've never seen that and it's never been something that's happened to me. I've never known uh, anyone yeah. that that's happened to. No, I haven't. But I, let's... but I always expect it. Oh, shit. It's the first thing I think of when I go to go in. It's not, oh, is someone in here and the door didn't shut? It's, am I going to find a dead person now? Right. I know. There you go. Crazy. I don't know if I want to run with you anymore. Vibe First I'll find them and not you. <laughs> well, you'd be the better one to find them, not me. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, no, no. Oh. Yeah, anyway, okay. maybe it's hopefully we don't. No, hopefully that, don't. And hello to all the exercisey people out there, all the yes. runners. Yes, runners using them toilets and the ones out <laughs> here in Australia, them drop toilets and you're running the beds out in the bush. Are you back running again? I'm back. She's Slowly back. back. I'm getting into it. Yeah, my injuries are starting to heal. My torn hamstring is fixed or it's getting fixed because i had plasma injected into it now that's a new thing and controversy in some places but it seems to be your own plasma oh it's my own plasma yeah yeah they took it out my arm spun it down injected in and stuck that huge needle from my bum into my hamstring and injected plasma there you go Mm. so it worked so it's it's working it happened well seven eight weeks ago i had the injection and it's now so what are you training for well, we're training for our motivation events, which we do is Brisbane, Sunshine Coast. And, and now Cairns Cairns. Marathon. So Very excited we'll be to do that. And um, the Melbourne Marathon. Yeah. And maybe Gold Coast half. Uh, Gold Coast half, yeah. Yeah, but definitely the Melbourne Marathon is my goal to get back fully by October and run a marathon again. It's been a few years. Mm. We need to do that. Good. So let's get on it. Yes. We'll keep you updated about that. But hello to all the runners. Yeah, hello. <laughs> My husband's got a running YouTube channel. I'll yeah. put the link below. Yeah, link below. And he's just changed the name of it and it's pretty cool. Run with a Woody. Run with Woody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the T-shirts will say run with a Woody. Oh, there you in go. Australia. I don't know. I keep saying in Australia. Do you have Woody's else- elsewhere? Well, you well, Woody's, yeah. yeah. You know what we're talking about? Yeah, I well, think everybody knows what we're talking about. But the reason his I last s- name's Wood. His last name's so Wood. <laughs> everyone's always called him Woody or Woodsy in yeah. his life. So yeah. that's why he used that name. Yeah, run with the Woody. No, just run with Woody. Oh, run with Woody. <laughs> so another little bit of housekeeping that we need to add to this video yes. is that we no longer have a website. We have told you that once before, but we'll tell you again. No website. We got rid of it. It was too hard to maintain. It was getting a bit stale because we just never got to it to update it. And it was costing us a lot of money for hosting. So we got rid of that. Gonskis. And that was where people were buying their merchandise. Uh But now you can buy it directly on YouTube. Yep. So we now have distributors in the UK and America and in Australia. And so... Hopefully postage will be a little bit more affordable. So if you want to support our channel, because we do put quite a bit of time into this, we try and answer all your questions. Yeah. There's a lot of time goes into editing. Uh, Hours of answering, (laughs) editing, hours of... um, Research. We do so much research. We don't actually do a lot of research. Yeah, but we should... (laughs) <laughs> there's a lot going on but there's a lot but honestly there's a lot goes on in this channel yeah there and is. so if you want to support us and keep seeing our videos then go and check out our merchandise and um, yeah that's a good way to support the channel yeah and you get something cool to wear yeah, and it's got our cool. cool logo on it it's like this yes it's pretty cool so anyway 